So here's an overview of my vanity and how I store my makeup. My desk is from Amazon. I ordered it for under $100. I did have to assemble it myself, but it is kind of the perfect size for the space that I have right here. And all of my acrylic organizers and my mirror are from either TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Amazon. And the palettes are stored in this acrylic mail sorter. It's meant to go on top of a desk to like sort mail and files and stuff, but it's perfect for storing palettes where you can see everything and it's easily accessible. So I'm gonna go through everything and I'll try and make it quick. I don't wanna have like an hour long video showing you all of my makeup, but I'm gonna try and get through everything as quickly as I can. I'm gonna start with my nail polish. I store it in these little like plastic bins just on the floor beside my vanity. I have everything kind of sorted. So I have like base coats and top coats and nude colors and grays, golds, pink and orange, purple and kind of red, and then green and blue. Mm. I, try, I try to keep everything sorted so that if I'm looking for a certain color, I don't have to dig through a bunch of stuff. And in this bin, I just have like tools, nail polish remover and stuff that I use every time I do my nails. That way, if I'm gonna work on my nails somewhere else, I can just kind of take this easily with me and then throw in whatever polish I want to use that day. I sort of have everything organized in the order that I use it. So I have like face stuff and then moving towards like blush, eyebrows, eyeshadow, lips, kind of in the order that I do my makeup and that just makes it easier for me so that I can find things quickly and put them away as I'm using them so that I don't end up with a big old mess all over my vanity, although sometimes I still do. So starting over here, I have like my primers, I have some makeup wipes, Q-tips, um, some maracuja oil, I use this for all kinds of stuff. And then I have my foundations, and then I have like my setting spray and MAC Fix Plus lip balm, eyelash primer. I like to use up these little sample size primers. So I have several of those, Makeup Forever. Um, I have a Professional, I don't really love that one. I have a mini um, MAC strobe cream. I love to use that stuff. Here's a Too Faced Primed and Poreless. This is probably my favorite primer. And for foundations, I don't really have them like organized in any certain way, just however they fit. I just got this one from uh, Boots Number no. 7 from Target, so I'm testing that out. Have a little MAC Pro Longwear. Here's my L'Oreal Lumi Cushion. And then I also have the original True Match Lumi. Here's Tarte, Benefit, Rimmel. What's this? CoverGirl? Yep, CoverGirl True Blend. Oh, go back in there. Here's a, oh man. Here's a Maybelline Dream Wonder, a Maybelline Fit Me, Born This Way, my It Cosmetics CC, some BOE that my friend Shawana sent me from Australia. And I also have a Revlon Age Defy CC. And then I have this little sample of Josie Marin that I just got from Sephora. I've been testing this out. I actually really like this. And some face oil, e.l.f. lip primer, or exfoliator, sorry. I also keep a couple samples over here, just things that I wanna try out, so I have them handy. That way I remember to grab them. Let's see if I can get everything back in here. There we go. All right. Next I have concealers and I do have a declutter so you can kind of see everything but NYX, Urban Decay, Maybelline, IT Cosmetics, my MAC paint pot that I use to prime my eyes pretty much every day, Painterly. And next I have my setting powders. This is my favorite 
um, NYX HD Finishing Powder, uh, IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation, Fit Me Powder, Ben Nye, Laura Mercier, ELF. This is a great loose powder. Then I have bronzers. I don't have a whole ton of bronzers, but the ones I have I really like. This is like a little Too Faced Duo. It came in a set. Let's see if I can even get it open. There we go. So it has a blush and the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And a Park Avenue Princess from Tarte. There's my e.l.f. contour kit, my Wet n Wild contour palette, uh, Tristique bronze stick, NYC um, sun and bronze. I love this stuff for like lazy makeup days. And my all-time favorite, the bronze booster from Physicians Formula. Gotta have it. Next I have highlighters, and I know I have a ton of highlighters. Just got this one from Urban Decay in Sin. Love this one. Gilded Honey, a bunch of Becca, that's Champagne Pop. Um, Wet n Wild one, I haven't even opened it yet, but it's so pretty I couldn't resist. Essence, Too Faced, Hard Candy, here's a little mini What's Up. What else is in here? Some Becca, more Becca, more Benefit. This is an Australis one that Shawana also sent me from Australia. I haven't even tried that one yet. Just swatched it. Let's see what else I have here. Okay, these are blushes, and I have two drawers of blushes. Don't judge me. I love blush, if you can't tell. Milani, Elf, lots of Tarte, lots of NYX. This little cute little dandelion from Benefit, MAC, Doll 10, L'Oreal, what else? Laura Geller, Trustique, Red Earth. Here's a Physician's Formula Happy Booster. This is so cute. I love this. Here's a Milani uh, Romantic Rose, Lorac. That's a Japanesque blush. I have some blush palettes too. We'll get to that. So before I move on to my palettes, I'm going to show you what's in these little drawers down here. These are all my eyebrow things. This is a brand new L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Haven't even opened it yet, but I have some brow pencils already open. Um, here's a Kat Von D. Here's a highbrow, a couple of spoolies, some tweezers, micro brow, brow gel, more brow gel. More brow gel. Here's a brow satin, the definer duo. And this little e.l.f. angled brush, if you can see it, is what I use if I use a brow powder. I do like to use this little Smashbox trio that I got in a Try It kit. Can I get it open with one hand? I like to use this dark shade here and sometimes I'll even mix these two or put this one under my brow bone, under my brow, on my brow bone. I love that for my brows. I also have a Sephora brow box and a little um, ooh la la lift. Can you tell I love benefit samples? So that's my brow drawer. Next I have my mascara drawer. I like to keep it in this smaller drawer because I don't want to have too many open at a time. They expire so quickly. So I just try to keep maybe five or less open at a time. Right now I have two from Tarte. This is the Lash Paint Light Camera Lashes and Maybelline Sensational uh, Roller Lash, which I just started using and I love this stuff. I'm late to the party on it, I know. And Better Than Sex, I always have one of those open. Oh. Go back in there, buddy. In here, I just have a random storage of all the little applicators that come with products that I never use, but for some reason I still save. And I also have some lashes and lash glue, which I also never use. Over here, I have some like random eyeshadows. These are small palettes. The NARS palette, Naked Basics, and the Lorac Pro Metal. I actually got this one on sale. I don't use it a ton, but I do really like the eyeshadows in there. And then I have two of the matte quads from Physicians Formula. These are amazing. I always talk about these. Classic Nudes is like the best eyeshadow palette you'll ever buy at the drugstore. If you don't have it, 
go by it. I have some single shadows and like loose pigments here and also the Tartlet Tees palette. I just used this for the first time the other day and I really wasn't all that impressed but I want to keep trying it out so we'll see. I have a loose shadow from Red Earth, um, a Chi Chi, two loose shadows from Bare Minerals, two more Red Earth shadows, and then these are all loose pigments that I bought on Etsy. They're from a shop called Inspiring Love Inside. Really pretty, really like those. And two of the metallics from Australis. Okay, I'll show you my palettes now. I have a ton of palettes. I love palettes. That's just the way it goes. I have a bunch of these little palettes from Too Faced. I have boudoir eyes. I have the natural eye, which this was like the first high-end palette I ever bought. Uh, Sugar Pop. Peanut butter and jelly, of course. Here's a highlighter palette from Models Prefer. This is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Holiday Palette. Love that. Um, this is the Morphe, oh sorry, it's all dirty. The 12NB. Here's one of my Z palettes. It has like my neutral shadows and a highlighter from Ofra. And here is the Tardis blush palette. I just got this and I love it. Uh, Lorac contour palette. Anastasia. This is the um, Shadow Couture World Traveler palette. Uh, Semi-sweet chocolate bar, chocolate bonbons, Naked 3. This is the Nordstrom Neutrals palette. Lorac uh, Mega Pro 2. Here's my other Z palette that has like my colorful shadows in it. Sorry, you can like see me filming in the reflection. So this is a mixture of NYX, Morphe, Anastasia, and MAC shadows. Then I have the balm in the balm of your hand. I have the Love Flush blush palette from Too Faced. Then back here I have my Lorac Pro, my very dirty Lorac Pro that I love. And this is the Jaclyn Hill Favorites from Morphe. And this last one, I bought this palette from Etsy. It's a double-sided, like, magnetic palette. And I sort of keep extra things in here. I don't use this stuff a lot. But these are some blushes from NYC, a Sephora blush, some powders, some bronzers. This is Hoola highlighters and then these are a bunch of depotted wet and wild shadows most of them are from the comfort zone and petal pusher palettes but there's also some from the three pan color icon palettes like walking on eggshells and all that stuff takes up a lot less space in this thing if i can find the etsy shop that i ordered that from i will definitely link that down below for you guys this is a really nice palette now over here I have my brushes and my tools. So I have some of the Wet n Wild brushes, the Bold Metals from Real Techniques. And then these are like my face brushes that I use every day. Morphe, Real Techniques. This is a Luxie. I got this in an Ipsy bag and it's like my favorite bronzer, bl bronzer brush ever. My e.l.f. Um, Flawless Concealer brush, which I love and I use every day. Setting brush from Real Techniques. And these are some Ulta brushes. Here's another e.l.f. brush. And then here are my like tiny scissors. I use this on my brows. Then I have my eyelash curler. This one from Tarte I love. Some beauty blenders. This is like a little, ooh, don't fall. This is a little like spray quick brush cleaner. This is a trimmer for my face and some small eco tools brushes I have another pair of scissors of course and then I have more brushes stored here so I have a random assortment of eye and face brushes this is like a spatula for depotting I have some big fluffy brushes I have mostly Morphe I have some e.l.f. A random mixture, a lot of eco tools, a lot of off brand. That's my brushes. Keep them all stored in here, they're dirty. Sorry, don't judge me. 
I have my color switch, which I love this thing. I use it every day. I just talked about it in my April favorites. Then over here I have some of my liquid lipsticks. So this is Too Faced, Revlon, Anastasia. I have a random L'Oreal one in there. And this one's from Savvy um, from Australia. Here's my MAC lip primer. And then I have this little container up here that lives up here. And it has all my ColourPop lippies in it. So these are lippy sticks, ultra mattes, and ultra satins. I have a lot. I love these. All the formulas are great. I'm not the biggest fan of the glossy lippy sticks. But other than that, I love ColourPop lippies. They are my favorites. Yes, I just ordered more. Don't judge me. Ah! I also keep some of my like most used perfumes up here and this little pink unicorn because it makes me smile. So I have uh, Miss Dior, a couple of Marc Jacobs. This is the Tarte Marine Boosting Mist. I love this stuff. And this is Burberry London from my luxury scent box. Very sexy scent. I love that. Then in these drawers, I have a bunch of eye and lip products. So I'm just gonna go through these drawers one by one and we'll see what's in there. I went ahead and pulled the top two drawers from the tall organizer out just so that we could see them more easily. I have a bunch of glosses over here. Um, Sonia Kashuk, this is a Revlon, Max, Sephora, NARS. This is like a mini Dior one I got in a 500 point perk. Um, so far, meh, it's okay. Here's some Stila liquid lipsticks. And then over here I have like a bunch of mostly mini size things. So I Okay, over here I have a bunch of mostly minis. So NARS, Laura Mercier, uh, Marc Jacobs, Japanesque, Too Faced, Makeup Forever, Buxom, Tarte, here's some more Buxom, some NARS, pencils what's underneath here. Some Tristique pencils, there's Maybelline. Here's some like Tarte lip paints. I have a mini Balm, the Balm liquid lipstick that I got in an Ipsy bag. And then I have a bunch of my Kat Von D Everlasting liquid lipstick minis. Love those. These are the middle two drawers from the taller acrylic organizer. In here I keep my Maybelline color tattoos. I love these. Um, some of my favorite ones are, what is this called? Barely Branded, Bold Gold, and what is this one? Bad to the Bronze, I think. I love these. I use them quite a bit. And then I have my L'Oreal Infallible Shadows, my NYX Prismatic Shadows, and one random Urban Decay one. These are awesome. If you don't have these, definitely check them out. They're great, inexpensive shadows. Amber Rush is a classic, and Ice Latte is awesome. This is a good dupe for Stila's Kitten, which I use all the time in my inner corner. And I have swatches of some of these on my Instagram, so definitely check those out if you're curious about the shades. The last two drawers in my tall acrylic organizer on my desktop have my all my ColourPop shadows. And I have all of these swatched on my Instagram too, so if you're curious about which shades I have, all of those are swatched on my Instagram. I'll link that down below. And this drawer is just kind of like a mishmash mishmash? Is that even a word? I have my sharpener, eyeliners, um, shadow crayons. These are from Trustique. I have one from NYX. Here's a glitter liner from NYX. And then I have a couple of like cream shadows. I just got this one in an Ipsy bag from Starlux. This one is from Rimmel. I have a Clinique one. And this drawer doesn't get a lot of use but this is how I keep all my liners and shadow crayons. Okay, we're almost done, guys. I'm just gonna show you what I have on these two like side shelves. Um, back behind, I have a bunch of 
uh, backups and things I haven't opened yet and then down here I have some things I'm saving for a giveaway so I'm not gonna let you peek at that stuff but this is where I store the rest of my lip products I have all my MAC lipsticks a couple from Chi Chi these are Revlon Rimmel these are all uh, Wet n Wild NYX and Too Faced and then in the drawers, it's mostly NYX stuff. These are my Intense Butter Glosses, some OCC Lip Tars, and just like random other lip products. And then in this drawer, I have my Soft Matte Lip Creams and my Butter Glosses. Can you tell that I love NYX products? And then on the bottom shelf, I have this little cup that has all my lip liners and then some more like drugstore lipsticks from L'Oreal, Maybelline, this one is L'Oreal, CoverGirl, Revlon, and then I have a couple of like rollerball fragrances, L'Oreal, uh, Lilac, and this one is a La Matte, and then I have a couple of like jumbo lip crayons back here, some Milani, some extra lip balms, and some fresh lip treatments. I got these in like a little set from Sephora a while back and I really like them. 